Hello, we're going to do some hand sewing today. We're working on finishing up pin cushions. This is a sample I first showed you. This is the one I finished in class. You notice this one's not as full of stuffing, so if you want a plumper pin cushion um, and you haven't done this step yet, think of putting a lot of stuffing in because I didn't put as much in this. Here's the sample I'm working on today. So I've got a lot of stuffing in there. I'm going to push it down and then you'll notice these edges are turned under. So this raw edge is folded under so it won't show when we're done. And that's true of both sides. Take my threaded needle and it's got a knot at the end here. I'm going to put it inside here and come up just before my last mis machine stitching. There it goes. It's a little bit like a back stitch. It's just an extra precaution to lock it in place. So there's my knot. It's holding tight. Got a long tail. You can just bury that in with the stuffing. Just push it in there. Okay, so we've got this ready to go. I'm going to pull these together. Remember those edges are folded under. And I'm going to pin it shut. For this kind of pinning, I'm going across this way. All right, now it's pinned in place. I've got my needle in there, and I could just stitch over and do a whip stitch, but then my seam would show. Um, you can do that, but I'm going to show you how to do a blind stitch today. This is what a blind stitch looks like when you're sewing. You sew across, and then the long way under that bit of seam allowance where it's turned over, and then across, and under, across, under, directly across, under, so that when you pull it tight, the completed seam will look something like this. And you'll just see those little, little places where it went across. But the traveling of the stitch will be hidden. It'll be underneath your seam allowance. Here we go. So I've got it here. I'm going to sew across like that. And then I'm going to go under here. I have to hold this down. I'll show you in a minute. Here, there, maybe you can see from there. Across. So that's where I put my needle in, right across. And then I go under and it comes out up there. So it's going, traveling this way, underneath that little fold. And now I'm going to go across to the other side. So I'm across, and I'm traveling across here, and then the long way there, and then I poke it up and pull through. Sometimes the thread likes to get caught on the corners of the pincushion. It just takes a little patience. So if you see, I have just these two little stitches that you can see, but this whole long part that is traveling, you're not seeing because it's under the seam allowance. I'll do it one more time here. So you can see I went across and under with my thread. I'll pull.
My screen went dark, so I couldn't see what you were seeing there. Okay, so you see how that's working out? So I'm going to turn this off and get to the end, and then I'll do another video about tying off. Happy sewing!